wonderful day in Adventure Bay. And these four puppies were enjoying a day in town. But suddenly, the Paw Patrol headquarters alarm went off. The pups hurried towards the headquarters to see what was up. Finally, at the headquarters. And here the pups arrive. Well, all puppies except... Oh, there you are, Rubble. Always the last one to arrive. They take the elevator all the way up to the top. Up in the headquarters, the emergency broadcaster dropped down from the ceiling. The alarm was coming from the famous sea explorer, Captain Dogo. Captain Dogo explained that he had found the treasure, but he accidentally dropped the key into the ocean. The treasure key goes to a chest that holds a valuable but unknown treasure. And now he asks the pup if they can come and help him retrieve the key. And if they accept the mission, he promised he will split the treasure with them. Okay pups, let's go help Captain Dogo find his missing key. First down the slide goes Chase. After him comes Rubble tumbling down. In third place we find Sky. And last but not least comes Rocky. The pups continue to slid down the slide all the way to the ground. Sky then set off towards the garage to pick up her helicopter. Then she flew over to the pups who were waiting to get picked up. They then flew away towards Captain Dogo's ship on a new and exciting adventure. Sky landed her helicopter gently to let Rocky off so he could use his jet ski instead. Rubble plunged into the water in order to swim out to his very own yellow submarine. I bet it's gonna be a great help on this mission, Rubble. With all the rescue vehicles, they set off towards Captain Dogo's ship, where Captain Dogo is patiently awaiting their arrival. Land ahoy! I, I mean uh, ship ahoy! The pups finally arrive at Captain Dogo's ship. Just look at how excited he is! Captain Dogo and the pups go under the deck. Captain Dogo pulls out an old map and points to where he dropped the treasure key. With that knowledge, the pups set off to find it. The pups are ready to initiate the search. Chase put on its scuba suit and then plunged into the blue ocean. And Rubble followed close behind in his submarine. Once deep down in the ocean, they started searching for the key. But all they could find were sea creatures. First, they swam past a dolphin, and eventually, an enormous whale. Hello, Mr. Whale! The two puppies kept on, until they eventually came to a large and spooky underwater cave. Rubble shines his headlights into the cave, and they both proceed to swim in. Rubble and Chase arrived in the cave. It felt very mysterious and a tad dark, but luckily Rubble kept his spotlight on so they could see. But they then saw another light, far inside the cave. The pups were struck with awe and wonder, but the light disappeared quickly, almost as if it got spooked. The pups ventured on deeper into the cave towards where they had seen the light. There on the seabed, the light appeared again. Chase decided to take a closer look, thinking it might be the golden treasure key. But it wasn't. It was just a fish. But it looks a bit scary. Just look at all those sharp fangs. But it's actually just a really happy and kind fish. Seems like the little fish is trying to tell us something. But now he's swimming away. But apparently the pups decided to follow. Eventually, they came up to a large rock and the fish stopped. 
He bobbed up and down in the water, almost like he was trying to catch our attention to the stone. And to the pup's surprise, a large octopus swam out. But that's not all. Look at his tentacle. It's Captain Dogo's treasure key. We found it, pups. And the pups were on their way towards the cave's exit. Rubble and Chase hurried to the captain's cabin, where Captain Dogo was waiting for them. Chase handed the key over, and Captain Dogo jumped down from his chair and ran out towards the deck, where the treasure chest could be found. Captain Doggo screamed to his crew. Now, set sail to Treasure Island, dogs! And they sailed all the way to the island where the treasure had been found. Treasure Island? Oh, how exciting! Oh, that's a dense jungle. Follow me, puppies! Captain Doggo screamed and sat off into the jungle. The rest of the puppies followed. All except one little pup, Rubble, who wasn't too excited to go into the lush jungle with all its scary insects. Come on Rubble, be a brave pup now. And so he did. The pups kept hiking through the thick jungle, but eventually their path started to slope. And the pups began sliding, none of the pups could get a grip. They slid all the way down into a big muddy puddle. You! Let's get out of this sticky mess, pups! <laughs> Everyone except Rubble, who is clearly enjoying splashing around in the mud. After they got out, they sat off towards the treasure again. The pups kept on walking through the loud and noisy jungle, when all of a sudden they heard... What was that? The pups stopped and looked around. Rubble suddenly turned around and saw something scary. So the pups started to run, and they ran through the jungle. After running through the jungle, trying to get away from the scary noises, the pups have now slowed down their pace. Oh pups, I think Captain Dogo has finally found the treasure chest again. And off the pups went. There's the treasure, finally! Captain Dogo runs to the treasure chest to try and open it up. Oh, I wonder what's inside! Dog bones? The pups are static about the treasure. Lots and lots of dog bones. They then set sail back home. And Captain Dogo joined them for an all-you-can-eat dog bone buffet. What an adventure the pups have been on. See you next time, puppies! It was a sunny and happy day in Adventure Bay. And I want to know what the pups are up to today. Ooh, hello there my little friendly friends. How fun that you're stopping by. But what brings you to the headquarters today? Oh, what a surprise. Hello there Crocky. We're checking in with the pups to see what they're up to. There's no pups here. The pups are on a mini vacation. So Crocky is making sure there is no emergencies. A mini vacation? How exciting! To where? The pups are on a mini vacation to the beach. To have some fun and relax from all the stressful work. It's a super relaxing fun. <laughs> oh, well that makes sense. They always work so hard. How kind of you to help out! Yeah, Crocky is the number one alarm sitter. One, two, well, three. We're gonna leave you to it, Crocky. You're doing an excellent job. Hmm, I wonder what we should do instead then. Uh-oh, that's the alarm, kids. I wonder if Crocky might need some help. Well, how about you stop and answer, Crocky? What is this? Oh my, oh my. Have I reached the Paw Patrol puppies? Oh, uh, now this is Crocky, the silly little croc. How can I help you, lady? Oh, it's my cat. I left the window open and he ran away. And now I can't find him anywhere. 
Oh, poor little lady. Look, the cat really did run away. Oh, please, young croc. Won't you help an old lady get her precious cat back? I promise I'll reward you greatly. Don't worry, lady. Crocky will save your cat. So where do you think this cat might be, Crocky? He can't just have vanished into thin air. Well, Crocky has some <laughs> ideas. Listen carefully. Well, first, the cat might take a drive in a car, and going along the way, driving very, very fast, because it's fun. Then the cat goes to a bar and have himself a little milk drink. Mmm, <sighs> delicious milk drink. And after that, he probably wants to go dancing and have some fun, yeah, like a disco cat. Ha, <laughs> Crocky, you're so silly. A cat doesn't drive a car. What? Nor do I think he's allowed into a bar. And I definitely don't think he's allowed to go dancing. Well, well then Quirky has no idea. Guess we just have to start searching. Yeah, that sounds like a much better idea, Crocky. So, should we call the pups, Crocky? Oh yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Let's give him a call. The pups were on the beach having fun. Rubble ran around while Sky was working on her beautiful tan. Oh. Chase and Rocky had made a sandman. Unknowing what had happened, Chase received a call. Oh, little puppies, hurry! Quick needs help! Come now! Okay, the pups will be here in no time! <laughs> Finally, Crocky gets to use the slide! Here comes Crocky! <coughs> Hello, the puppies! It's time to save a little cat! Let's go! So Crocky pulled out the tractor from the garage and set off to pick up the pups. The wheels on the tractor go round and round! Round and round, round and round. <laughs> and then they all drove to Adventure Bay. Can you see any cats, puppies? All night and all day. Crocky's driving a little tractor. Eeyo, And he is hoping he finds a cat. Eeyo, Oh, a cave. How exciting. <laughs> Not exciting. Bye bye. How's it going, Crocky? It's not going good at all. Crocky can't find the cat anymore. Anyway. Watch out! Ah, I'm so sorry, puppies. But wait, what was that? Oh, it's the tiny little kitty cat up in the tree. Don't worry, little catty. Crocky's gonna save you. Here, jump in. Oh yes, let's go. Oh, my beloved cat! Oh, finally you come back to me, my love! And this is for you, little crocking pups! Oh, yeah! We did it, buddies! We saved the lady's little tiny cat! And look how happy the little pups are with all the dog treats! Thank you for watching! See you next time! Bye! <laughs> What a beautiful winter stay at the Paw Patrol headquarters. But where are the pups? Oh, the pups were out in Adventure Bay playing in the snow. Sky was playing around in the new soft snow, while Rubble was running around like a crazy little pup. Chase and Rocky were building a snowman with a carrot nose and two sticks as hands. Beautiful. Eventually, the pups got cold and they all headed for the headquarters. But what now? Where is Rubble? Oh wait, there he is. They used the elevator to go all the way up to the top. With some Christmas themed clothing to stay warm, the emergency TV dropped down. Let's see what's up. Oh, it's Santa Pup. 
but he doesn't sound too happy. Santa Pop continues to explain why. Just like every year, Santa Pop had been out delivering Christmas presents all day. Then something horrible happened. A clown mm -hmm. named Rufus had been watching him. Oh, yes. And as soon as he was done delivering the presents, Rufus set off to work. Oh yes, looky look. <laughs> oh yes, mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, my teddy, my teddy, my teddy, my teddy, my teddy. La 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 So the pups set off down the super slider. Let's find that thieving clown and prevent him from ruining the Christmas joy pups. Someone's about to get coal in his socks for years to come, right? Sky went down to the garage to retrieve her helicopter. She then picked up the pups, and the chase had begun. In their search for Rufus's secret cave hideout, they flew through Adventure Bay City, where Rufus was last sighted stealing the little cute teddy bear. But Rufus were nowhere to be found. After a while, they spotted Rufus's cave hideout. So Sky landed the helicopter gently. And the pups set off into the cave. Some more willingly than others. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Robbo! They went further and further into the cave. <coughs> Robbo, stop being a drama queen. Hurry up now. Eventually, they found a pile of dirt. Sky started to dig there. And what do you think showed up? The teddy bear. Sky jumped down and picked up the teddy bear, and then jumped up from the hole. The pups were ecstatic. But what now? It's Rufus. The silly clown wants the teddy bear back. He starts running after the pups. Hurry up pups, run while he's stuck in the hole. So the pups ran out of the cave. And jumped into the helicopter. Hurry up, Rubble! Phew! You made it! The pups then flew back to Adventure Bay and put the cute teddy bear back where it belongs. Then they flew back home, to the Paw Patrol headquarters. Up in the headquarters, the TV dropped down again. It was Santa Pup. He wanted to thank the pups for all their help. Great job, pups! See you next time! Another beautiful day in Adventure Bay. At least that is what the two puppies, Rubble and Chase, thought. They had packed down all they need for a nice day with their paws in the sand and were now heading towards the beach. At the beach, they were both sunbathing. Rubble was relaxing under his umbrella with a drink. 
and Chase was lying on a blanket and soaking up the sun, both completely relaxed. Behind them, on the waves, the little croc crocky was surfing. Here he goes for a second run at the waves. But what now? A giant wave! It's coming right at the little croc and it's gonna wash him all the way out to sea. I guess relaxation time is over pups. Time to head out to sea and save our little croc friend. So the pups ran towards the water and jumped in. They started to swim the fastest they could, out to Rubble's very own submarine. The pups got on board and they sat off out into the ocean to find a little lost croc. Deep down under the surface, the pups started to look for the little croc. Chase and Rubble swam across a school of fish. And here comes a friendly little dolphin. Hello, Mr. Dolphin. Oh, what a jump! Oh, hi there, Mr. Whale. Look, he's so big. I bet he can jump even higher. Whoa, what a jump, Mr. Whale. Then the pups continued with their search led them to an underwater cave. Put on those lights, Rubble, and let's head in. It's dark in here. Luckily, Rubble's submarine is equipped with some good headlights. They scanned the cave trying to find the little croc, but without no luck. But what's that? What's that for a funny looking creature? It's an anglerfish. Anglerfish have light on their foreheads too, just like the pub's submarine. They continued deeper into the underwater cave until they came across the next animal, a cute little red octopus. But finally they came out on the other side, but without finding the lost croc. Oh, where can he be? Eventually they came across a dead end. They steered the submarine up to the surface and jumped to shore. On this tiny little island was a tiny little croc. Chase told Crocky to follow them if he wanted to be safe. The little crazy croc did as he was told and they all set off down to the submarine again. The submarine submerged into the depths of the ocean. Pups, stop! What's that on the ocean floor? A shiny golden key! They picked up the key using their pup rescue tool. A gold key. That must go to a treasure, pups. Are you up to go on a treasure hunt? Let's go find us an old pirate treasure. On the surface, they could see another island in the distance. They ventured close enough to jump ashore. It was a thick jungle island. If I were a pirate, I would definitely hide my treasure here. The oh rubble wasn't no. too keen on following. Eventually, loud animal noise convinced him to follow Chase. In the jungle, the pups heard a lot of new sound they never heard before. There is an animal screaming, it seems. I wonder who it is, or what it is. The pups stopped and looked up, and there he was, a brown monkey swinging from a tree. The monkey just tried to get their attention because he wanted to show them the way. So the pups continued, deeper into the dense jungle. They walked for a long, long time. After a while, they stopped to get a breather. Someone wanted to crawl down from his tree and say hello. The pups didn't know better. So they set off running from the cute little green snake. And that's when they found it. This must be it, Chase. Let's start digging. So Chase started to dig behind the stone. Eventually, he pulled out a large treasure chest. I knew you'd find it, pups. Our very own pirate treasure. Chase inspected it and opened up the chest. And out flew the best treasure every pup could wish for. Dog bones. So they packed up the treasure in Chase's super pup bag and headed back towards the submarine. They threw the bag 
they drew in the bag of dog treasures. And then they jumped in. The submarine went down into the depths of the ocean again. The pups didn't wait to get back to the Paw Patrol headquarters, but they started to snack on the treasure straight away. Well look there, the two puppies Rocky and Chase are out enjoying a little stroll in the park. And all of a sudden, bones started to fall from the heavens. It was that crazy cro Some Rocky song. again. The I'm pups the got upset and they yelled at Rocky. Chase and Rocky then ran towards the headquarters. They told Rubble and Sky what had just happened. And Rubble got so excited, Chase suggested that they should look for him using their binoculars. There he is, that little troublemaker. Crocky the silly crocodile, always up to no good. But where's he heading now? Wow Pops, that planet looks like a giant dog treat. With a new exciting mission, the Pups made themselves ready to go to space and find the big dog treat planet where Crocky, the crazy and silly little crocodile, was hiding. Fully space suited up, the pups headed towards the pup slide. <coughs> round and round the headquarters they go, all the way down where a big space rocket was waiting for them. They board the rocket, rocket away, and the rocket started to move towards the skies. They flew deeper and deeper into space, past the stars and all the small meteors. They even flew past all the planets in our solar system. They went past Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Earth, Venus, and Mercury. But what now? Why did you stop, pups? Oh, it's the giant dog treat planet. Let's set this rocket down and see if we can find ourselves a dog treasure on this planet. So the pups put down the spaceship and they were a little bit too eager. So they all fell down into the bottom of the rocket. Okay pups, let's explore our newly found planet. And the pups walked and walked and walked for a very long time. Until finally, Chase caught on to a familiar smell. He used his super sniffer to see if he could find out what it is. And guess what it was? Of course, our tiny little crazy green friend Crocky. <laughs> Hiya puppies, it's your best alien buddy, Crocky. Looking for some doggy treats? Of course, the pups were ecstatic <laughs> about the doggy treats. <laughs> so the pups followed the little alien croc down the crater. <laughs> some did it more gracefully than others. Oh, Rubble. There is that little silly alien. Uh, oh, oh, what's that in front of him? Hey, Ooh, it looks like a treasure yeah. chest. You're looking for some tasty bones. You have finally found Captain Doggo's treasure. Captain Doggo's yeah. treasure? Captain I Doggo is the first puppy going into space on cool space missions. And he secretly hid his treasure on Doggy Planet. Let's open it up! <laughs> so Crocky opened the chest and out flew hundreds if not thousands of dog treats. The pups were super happy, so they packed their newly found treasure up in a bag and set off towards the rocket again. When back at the rocket, the Paw Patrol pups set off out into space. Bye bye! Arrivederci! Don't forget to throw to Crocky! Be sad and lonely. <laughs> and so the pups did. 
they went all the way back to Earth in their spaceship. They put the rocket down gracefully. Then they went inside and ate all the Captain Dog Dog treats that they could possibly stomach. Thank you for watching kids. See you on the next puppy adventure. Bye bye. Adventure Bay. And more precisely, the Paw Patrol headquarters. A bunch of our favorite friends are here on the balcony today. They seem to be waiting for something. Or someone. It's the silly little croc crocky. He's on his way down to Bluey and the Paw Patrol puppies. Hiya puppies. It's Crocky! Do you guys want to play some hide and seek? Oh, hide and seek. I just love hide and seek. What about you all? Are you guys ready for a game of hide and seek together with me and Crocky? We got Bluey's dad, Bandit, Paw Patrol's aerial pup Sky, the cutest little tiny Bing, Bluey himself, the police puppy Chase, the famous excavator pup Rubble, and shy little Indy. Okay fellas, me and Crocky are gonna count to five. Let the games begin. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, and five. Here comes Crocky. <laughs> come out, come out wherever you are little puppies. I'm Bluey. Crocky's gonna find you. There's no way you're gonna hide from Crocky. <laughs> I wonder where they are. Perhaps up here in the telescope. Great place to look, Crocky. But sadly, no pups and no blueies. No puppies and no bluey. Oh, where should we sit now? I have no idea, Crocky. Oh, I saw something. Let's sit up here in the headquarters. Oh, that's a good choice. Okay, so let's say the magic words. Open, Open sesame! sesame. We should continue our oh, search. I think I saw someone behind the rocket. <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> it's silly little rubble. Hello, the little rubble. We really found you. Oh, yeah, that's rubble. Paw Patrol's very own little digger. Next stop, Sky's Chopper. <laughs> this is the little cutie. Covering up behind the chopper. She looks a little sleepy, Crocky. <laughs> yeah, of course. She's probably been taking a nap. <laughs> I bet you're right. Now, let's check the car up. It's Bingo, Bluey's little sister. Ah, Bingo, don't play with the pup's tractor. Stop! <laughs> little Bingo is really a little rascal. I love it. Well, there's one pup left. Chase. I wonder where it could be. I think I know. The elevator? Of course. <laughs> there he is. Okay, Crocky. So who do we have left to find? Uh, okay, so we found Blue Stad, Bandit. We found Chase, Sky. We found the uh, Rubble. Yeah, little yellow tiny Paw Patrol pup. And we found Bingo. So we have Indy and Blue left. Okay, where can they be? Oh my! Indy got some gymnastic skills, that's for sure. Yeah, that was crazy. Well, all we need to find now is Bluey. Hmm, I haven't seen him anywhere so far. No, me neither. I wonder what... Did you hear that, Crocky? Yeah, what was that? I think it came from the trees. Let's have a look. Okay, nothing here. Nothing there. Oh, there is. Hello, Bluey. <laughs> That means we found everyone, and we finished the hide and seek. Thank you for watching! It was a fantastic summer day in Adventure Bay. The Paw Patrol pups had taken the day off to do some summer activities in the park. Chase and Rocky were playing ball and having a great time. 
sky was sunbathing, enjoying a glass ice-cold lemonade in the shade of a tree. Rubble was trying out his new toy, a remote-controlled drone. He flew it high up in the sky, past the treetops. He flew it right, and he flew it left. He could even do a flip. But all of a sudden, he could hear a Paw Patrol alarm go off. Quickly, Rubble, take down the drone and let's go and see what's up, Chase said. Rubble wasn't as enthusiastic. He really didn't like stressing. But he did as Chase said anyway. The pups then set off towards the Paw Patrol headquarters. Hey Sky, you too, hurry up now! First, the Paw Patrol puppies had to follow the long road through the park. It was Rocky, Chase, Rubble, and last but not least, Sky. Chase told Rubble to hurry up, then they all started running. Well, Rubble did his best to keep up. They finally reached the Paw Patrol headquarter. Hurry up pups and get to the elevator. Let's see what new rescue mission awaits. The pups took the elevator all the way up to the top of the headquarter. When there, they got an urgent message from Ryder. He told the pups that the mayor had lost her cat. It had escaped from her house. He then went on to tell them that the cat was last seen in Adventure Bay City and suggested that the pups could start by looking there. Okay pups, are you ready to rescue a cat in need? I take that as a yes. Let's go find that kitty! They rushed to the Paw Patrol slide. They slide their way all the way to the bottom of the headquarters. And set up towards Adventure Bay City. When they finally reached the city, well at least three pups did. Oh wait, here comes the fourth and last pup. Of course, Rubble. He looks exhausted, poor thing. But what now? I think Rubble has spotted something. Oh, it's not a clue, Rubble, but good job staying on your toes. Rubble tells the other two pups to go on and search the rest of the city while he stays away here and checks out the cafe. So the other pups ran off to check the rest of the city while Rubble stayed put and fine come the cafe. Right after he's finished eating this cake, I guess. Right, Rubble? I take that nod as a yes. Chase checked out the library. Can you kids see the sneaky little cat around the library? Nah, not me or Chase either. Let's check in with Skye and see if she's had any luck. Skye was looking around the jewelry shop. Any luck spotting the cat here, kids? Nope. Not here either. What about Rocky? He might have found something. Rocky was checking out the fruit stands. Perhaps the cat became hungry and passed by here. But no cat in sight. But what's that? A clue! Nice job, Rocky! It's a bit of hair from the cat. At least now we know that it came through here. Uh, there are some more. And they seem to be leading towards the mountain. Let's go and get Rubble and the others and follow the lead. Rubble? Rubble, wake up, Rubble! Of course he didn't check the cafe. He was just interested in that juicy cake. Oh, he's waking up finally. Rubble, we found a clue. Let's go! They followed the cat's hair and just as we thought, it led them to the mountains. But not up in them. He had to venture into a cave. But all of a sudden... Oh, what's that scary noise? It's coming closer. Watch out, pups! Oh, oh, <laughs> it's nothing. 
Just a small little caterpillar. <laughs> well, no need to be afraid, pups. Let's keep on going. Yay! It led them through the cave and now towards its second entrance. There were more clues. Look there, beneath the old tree. Fruits! The cat had taken some fruits from the fruit stands, but they all seemed to have been eaten on. They all looked up, and what do you think? There he is, the mayor's little cat, sleeping on a branch high up in the old tree. Let's wake him up. Yell with me, kids. On three, let's say, wake up, kitty cat. One, two, three. Wake up, kitty cat. Oh, we startled him. Doesn't look like he knows how to climb down. Oh, silly cat. You climb all the way up there. And now you can't come down. <coughs> Rubble, do you still have that drone of yours? Great! Can you tie a rope on it and go up there and grab the cat and get it down to safety? You're the best, Rubble. So Rubble took out this drone and launched it into the air with a rope tied beneath it. Carefully maneuvered the drone close to the tree so that the cat could get a hold of the rope. Then he propelled it down to safety. May will be super happy to know that the pups have saved her cat. Great job, pups! Yet again, the Paw Patrol pups have completed an important rescue mission. Thank you for watching, kids, and make sure to like and subscribe for more pup tales coming your way. Bye! Crocky and the importance of water. <coughs> Crocky is a silly little crazy crocodile. He loves the water and playing with his friends. Hey Crocky, what are you up to today? Oh, hi! Uh, I'm at the beach with my friends, but they are super lazy. They didn't want to go surfing with Crocky. Oh, so you like surfing? That's cool! Oh yeah, Crocky loves surfing! You wanna see Crocky catch a wave? Of course! Show me and the kids how it's done! That was a dope ride, Crocky. What are you going to do now? Well, my friends are starting to look a bit sunburned after so much time in the sun. Oh, I think you're absolutely right. Look at that, kids. The puppies are starting to get a sunburn. You better get them some sunscreen really quick, Crocky. <laughs> no worries. Crocky is always ready. So Crocky pulled out his sunscreen. But it was all sticky and slippery, and it slipped out of his hand and high up into the air, then straight down into the ocean. Uh, Crocky, you better get that one quick before it washes out to sea. <laughs> no problem. Crocky's gonna get it. So Crocky ran to the water. But just as Crocky was about to pick it up from the water, a big wave takes a hold of the bottle of sunscreen and washes it out to sea. Oops! <laughs> well, well, guess Crocky gonna have to run to the store and get some new sunscreen for my friends. Oh, that's very kind of you, Crocky. But I think we have a bigger problem here. We do? That bottle of sunscreen that just got washed out to sea is made out of plastic. Oh! And plastic is very bad for the ocean. Just look at all the things people throw into the ocean. Okay. An old coffee cup, an Ooh. empty soda can, and even grandpa's old underwear. Oh no! And sometimes fish or other sea creatures eat the trash, and oh. sometimes they get stuck in it. Poor little fishy! But, but, what should we do then? What if I gave you a submarine? Ooh. Would you like to go on a submarine sunscreen treasure hunt? Oh yeah! That would be awesome! We can see uh, all the cool sea creatures like unicorns and... Uh, you're right about that, but first and foremost, unicorns doesn't live in the ocean. Hey? Eh? We don't? And to be completely honest, they are just fairy tale animals, so they only live in stories. Okay, guess I'll go then. <laughs> well, isn't this a story? Yeah, I guess you're right about that, but... Okay, less talking, more sunscreen submarine treasure hunt! 
<laughs> with a small possibility of unicorn sightings. Yeah. Oh, we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Crocky. Here you go. Let's go, kids! There are some unicorns waiting to be discovered. Uh, I mean, sunscreens to be found. <laughs> and off Crocky went in his submarine. So, how do you like it here under the surface, Crocky? <laughs> it's super cool! Just look at all these little fishes! You're absolutely right about that. The ocean is such a cool place. Just look at that dolphin over there. Woohoohoo! What a jump! Any luck with the sunscreen yet? Or perhaps unicorns? <laughs> oh, that's a negative on both. No sunscreen and no unicorns inside. But a large whale seems to want to say hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Whale! Hello! Whoa, what a jump! Stop! Oh, what's up, Crocky? I see a dark and mysterious cave. Come on, let's check inside. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I bet the sunscreen is in there. Let's go! Okay, but I have to admit, I'm easily spooked, okay? <laughs> you silly human, there's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Let's go! So Crocky ventured into the dark and not spooky cave? Ooh, it's so dark in here. Yeah, we need to turn on the light. I can't see anything. Ooh, shiny! I wonder what that is. I have no idea. We should turn around, Crocky. Okay, let's follow it. Wait, what? You're saying you want to follow a shiny bright light further into the dark and mysterious underwater cave. Oh yeah, super exciting! Uh, well, not exactly the words I would use. So Crocky followed the light further into the cave. Oh, I see it! Look! Oh, there it is. I can see it too. Oh, it's a fishy. Hello, dear little fishy. Whoa, look at those teeth. Are you really sure about this, Crocky? He looks a bit scary. Oh, stop being silly. Look, he's saying hello, but little fishy, have you seen a sunscreen bottle anywhere? Huh, <laughs> I take that as yes. Can you please show me where? Oh, it's a super nice and helpful little fish. Yeah, of course it is. So Crocky followed his newly found fish bread. Eventually, they came up to a rock. It seems like he's trying to tell us something, Crocky. Hmm, let's see. Ah! Oh, sorry. Oh, stop it now. You're gonna scare away our new friends. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I told you I was easily spooked. <laughs> Look what he's holding in his tentacles. I see it. It's your old sunscreen bottle. Hello, dear little octopus. Could you mind giving Crocky back his sunscreen? The ocean is free from Crocky plastic. Yeah. Oh, these sea creatures are so lovely and helpful. Yeah, of course they are. Why would the octopus need sunscreen, you little silly silly silly? So now that you have your sunscreen back, Rocky, I guess it's time for us to head back to the pubs, so you can give them some proper protection from the hot sun. You're absolutely right. Goodbye, little fishes. See you later. <laughs> So Crocky started a ride back to the beach. Hello puppies! Here comes Crocky! I got the sunscreen! Oh no! Look at those poor little puppies, Crocky! They're all sunburnt! 
You need to hurry up now and get them some sunscreen. Oh, don't worry, little puppies. Crocky's gonna make everything good. Great job, Crocky. You did it. <laughs> we did it, buddies. We did it. Oh, look at the cute little puppies. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you later. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Once upon a time, on a lovely day in a lush green park, two adorable puppies named Rocky and Chase were out for a walk. They were having a woof-tastic time when suddenly the bones started to rain down from above. The little croc zoomed away and Rocky and Chase started running like crazy towards the headquarters. They wanted to tell Sky and Rubble all about this crazy bone-throwing croc alien. They hopped into the elevator and took it all the way up to the top. Once they reached the top of the headquarters, they excitedly shared the story with Sky and Rubble. Sky and Rubble were super intrigued. Chase pointed at the telescope, urging them to look out into space and find the mischievous little croc. And there he was, the silly little croc in his itty bitty spaceship. Look, he's even having trouble controlling it. Without wasting a second, the pups decided to explore the dog bone planet for treasure. They quickly put on their spacesuits. First up was Chase, then Rubble, followed by Sky, and last but not least, Rocky. They raced to the pop slide, whooshing down from the headquarters. Finally they reached the bottom and their spaceship. They started the engines and took off into space. As they soared through the galaxy, they passed asteroids, twinkling stars and many different planets on their search for the dog bone planet. <laughs> Suddenly, their spaceship came to a hasty halt. Chase pointed forward. Look, there it is! The dog bone planet! Pups skillfully maneuvered the rocket towards the planet and landed smoothly on its surface. They eagerly stepped out onto the planet to explore this exciting new world. After a long spacewalk, under the shining stars and whistling comets, Chase stopped the pups and started sniffing in the air. Uh-oh, he's onto something. It led them to a big crater with a silly croc inside. <laughs> Hiya puppies, that's your best alien buddy, Crocky. Oh, you're looking for some doggy treats? <laughs> then follow Crocky. It was the silly little croc they had been chasing all along. Okay pups, let's follow the croc, Chase barked. And all the rest of the pups agreed and zoomed down the crater. As they gracefully fell down inside the crater, everyone except Rubble who came bouncing down. Oh, Puppies. Welcome to Planet Dog Treat! Yeah, you're looking for some tasty bones? You have finally found Captain Doggo's treasure! Yeah! The treasure was from Captain Doggo, an old space explorer known for his dangerous expeditions. Captain Doggo! 
and Dora was first puppy going into space on cool space missions. And he secretly hid his treasure on Doggy Planet. Let's open it up! <laughs> Suddenly, the treasure chest burst open and dog bones flew out like shooting stars. Woohoo! The pups were absolutely ecstatic. They quickly collected all the dog bones in their blue puppy sack and headed back to the rocket ship. Chase expertly maneuvered the rocket ship, ensuring a safe landing back at the headquarters. Eager to enjoy their and newfound there treasure, it's and that's the sound of four very picture. happy treasure Great hunting please. pups enjoying Let's the spoils go. of their <laughs> adventure. It's a fantastic day in Adventure Bay, and four of the pups are ready to play. In the top of the headquarters, the Paw Patrol pups receives all their rescue missions. Oh uh oh, I think playing have to wait, pups. We just got a new rescue mission. Are you ready to help the pups save Adventure Bay from whatever trouble is coming its way? Of course you are! Let's jump into the elevator and see what all this fuss is about. The pups got into the elevator and it went up, up and up. All the way to the top of the headquarters. Here we go! Let's check the screen and see what type of rescue mission we're going on today. Hmm, I hey, think I recognize Croc. this little green fellow. It's that crazy little green crocodile. Croc. I wonder what he's up to today. Oh, what's happening? Neptunus is Crocky's now. Stealing planets? What kind of crazy idea has come over him this time? Oh no! Oh no! It's that crazy little crocodile Crocky again. And this time he's trying to steal all the planets. Let's use the telescope to get a better look at what he's up to. Oh no, he's closing in on our planet, the Earth. Pups, we need to hurry up. Get your spacesuits on and let's go save ourselves some planets. So the pups started to get themselves ready for a new exciting space mission. First one to put on his helmet was Chase. Then it was Rubble's turn, then Sky, and last, as per usual, King Rocky. They all went down the slide, all the way down to the Paw Patrol space rocket. They fired the rocket up and started to fly towards space to catch themselves a little tiny alien croc thief. The pups broke into space and headed towards where the planets had been before that little crazy croc took them. Oh no! Look, the croc really took all the planets! That crazy little croc! I wonder what he planned to do with all these planets! Look, Neptune! The icy giant with its chilling winds are completely gone. Ok pups, let's check the other planets and hope to catch up with this crocky before he shrinks and steals every single planet in our galaxy. 
Oh, Uranus, the icy twin of Neptune, is also gone. What could Crocky need two blue freezing planets for? Let's check up with Saturn and her rings. He's taken Saturn too. Even its rings are gone. Next planet should be Jupiter. I wonder how he pulled this off. Jupiter is the largest planet and he just shrunk it and took it away with him in his tiny little spaceship. Pups, we have to check up on Mars. Now full speed ahead. Our neighboring planet, Mars, is nowhere to be found either. But that means the next planet is Earth! No! Speed up, pups! We gotta save our planet and then save all the other planets. All we need is to find this planet. So the pups put the pedal to the metal and blasted forward towards the Earth. There he is, pups! <laughs> Our you very own tiny now. little planet yeah, <laughs> Oh wait! No, yeah, no, no! He's mind. trying to shrink the Earth <laughs> too! Perhaps you have to stop him! <laughs> Great job, puppies! We stopped Crocky from taking the Earth. And we also got back all the missing planets. Okay pups, let's grab all the planets. Planet number one, Jupiter. Our second planet is Mars. The third planet is Uranus. The fourth planet is Neptune. And last but not least, our fifth planet, Saturn. Hi there Earth. Well hello there little pop cool puppies. Thank you so much for rescuing me from that little space alien croc. You're welcome. Now we just gotta put all of your planet friends back in their rightful place. Oh, I sure miss them a lot, so please do. Just make sure that you put them back in the right order. We sure will Earth. See you later. Bye bye now puppies. Okay pups. Let's start with the planet that is the furthest away from the sun. Do you kids remember which planet that was? Planet number one is Neptune, the icy planet. Galio, well how you doing? Name's Neptune. I'm what they call an ice school giant. Don't believe me, I'm 58 times bigger than your tiny little earth. <laughs> Now it's time for planet number two, Neptune's twin, Uranus. Hi you kids, my name's Uranus. Most people think I have a very, very funny name. But just like Neptune, I'm an icy giant too. I'm actually the third largest planet in the whole solar system. Yeah! <laughs> okay pups, the next planet we put back, number three, it's none other than Saturn. Yeah, howdy y'all. Name Saturn. I'm the planet with the most visible rings, spinning around me like a lasso. I'm the second biggest planet, and they call me the king of the moons, because I have 80 moons surrounding me. Woohoo! Now, onwards to planet number four, beautiful Jupiter. Hi there, everybody. I am the real giant Jupiter. If you put together all the other planets in the solar system, I would still be two times their size. I have some powerful gravity pulling in all the meteors so that they don't hit my small neighboring planets. <laughs> Onwards to the last stolen planet, number 5, Mars. Oh, it tickles! Hiya buddies, I'm Mars, but many call me Red. I'm quite a small guy, 10 times smaller than your planet Earth. I have a ton of small iron particles on my surface, which rust and that's what makes me red. Okay puppies, our work here is done. I'll see you space puppies down on Earth. And so the pups did. They went all the way back to Earth 
in their spaceship. There they are, our superhero space puppies. Yet another mission accomplished puppies, but now let's check the telescope and say goodnight to all the planets. Good night, Neptune. Well, good night. Good night, Uranus. Good night. Good night, Saturn. Good night. Good night, Jupiter. Good night. Good night, Mars. Good night. Good night, Earth. Night and night again. Good night, Venus. Night night. And good night, Mercury. Good night. And of course, good night, big old sun. Good night. <laughs> Bye.